now we're gonna make our vision boards. So this year I decided to step things up a bit. I decided to do this vision board party for my mommy group because I just wanted to give them something special to do. Something that just didn't include the kids, something for themselves. So I didn't wanna do the regular poster board. I've used paper board in the past and it just doesn't hold up. And if this is something that I'm gonna be looking at for the whole year, I want it to look nice. And I figured that the mommies wanted theirs to look nice too. So I decided to go with canvas and ribbon with the color of their choice. Now, what I like about this is that you can put this up in your house anywhere, and that's the purpose of the vision board. So you want to see your vision all the time. And why not put it up on canvas? This is so simple to make, and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly show you right now. All you're gonna do is take your ribbon, choose your favorite color. So you're just gonna place your ribbon where you want it to be. You can do the full board or you can do half because I want them to be able to put uh, pictures and inspirational messages on their board as well. Um, with glue, I decided to just do the ribbon halfway. I'm just gonna lay out a crisscross design and make sure that your ribbon overlaps so they can stick items in it without having to use a clip. So you see how these two pieces of ribbon are on top and this one's under? You wanna go ahead and just lay this one over this one so it can hold an item in place. And we'll do this on the other side as well. Okay, so I know this is what I want my design to look like. So now we're gonna take the tape and we're gonna tape it into place. Doing a vision board is a great way to stay on track. It's like you put your items on the vision board and then they seep into your brain and you start working on it and don't even realize that you're accomplishing your goals. As you're going through the year, go back to your vision board to see how many items you can check off. You'll be very surprised to see how many things that you've accomplished in such a short amount of time. Okay, so I taped my ribbon where I want it to go, where I want my design to lay. So all you're gonna do, go back over each place, lift up, peel my tape off, and you're going to put a little bit of glue. Now my mom always says a dab a do ya, but I like to do two or three dabs. So bam, press that. So now you're just gonna clip all the ends. So flip it around, clip your ends. Okay, after you cut your ends off, you just wanna tuck them, clean them up, and glue them back down. So we're just going to take our ribbon, fold the ends, take our glue gun, put a little bit of glue down, and then just lay the ribbon down. So now our ends are completed and they have more of a finished look to them and you don't have to worry about them fraying. And you're done. It's really that easy. If I can do it, you can do it too. Now you have a vision board and a gift to give to someone. Two birds, one stone. Okay, bring on the drunks. Now, if you're a college football fan, then you're my kind of person. No, heading to one of the conference championships, are you, this weekend? Well, here's a creative tailgating idea. It sounds different, but apparently um, it looks delicious. I'm Rosalind Daniels with RosalindDaniels.com, and today we're going to be making a DIY Brussels sprouts bar. First, you want to start with 